والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم Islam is for every race Bismillah, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you You're watching Beauties of Islam And I'm Yusuf Estes and we've been talking about one of the beauties of Islam is to understand the difference between human rationale and the logic that comes to us from our Creator. There are a number of examples and issues that we can bring up for these logical discussions or arguments. <clears throat> Some of them we find them in the Quran. Some we find in the teachings of the Hadith of Muhammad, peace be upon him. But in every case, there's so many lessons that we learn from it. I recall one of the lessons coming from the Quran talking to us about someone by the name of Khidr. Now, the Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, was saying that he had a lot of knowledge. And Allah was showing him that somebody had more knowledge than he did. Knowledge has always been a big subject with people. You know that. I like to know things, you like to know things. In fact, you'll learn something today, maybe, and you'll like to go share it with your friends just to show them, I know something, I learned something today. <clears throat> in the case of Moses and Hidr, this is a story in the Quran talking about how Allah was teaching Moses a good lesson. And he told Moses to go on a journey and he's traveling with Joshua, I believe. And as they're going along, that this fish is going to do something, and that's going to be a sign to them that this is where they're going to meet up with this person who has this knowledge. And then what happens, sure enough, they meet the person. And then they're going to travel with him. And Moses asks permission, can we travel with you? And the one told him, no, because, you know, you're not going to have the patience to stick with me to understand what's going to happen. He said, no, 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 you'll find us patient. Let us travel with you. First thing they do, they get into a boat. Okay, they take off. The people give them a free ride in the boat. Now, that's a nice deal to get a free ride, to go in the boat, to go somewhere. As they're going along, though, Hitter takes a crowbar. We call it a crowbar. And he starts pulling the planks out of the boat. He's destroying part of the boat. Moses said to him, what are you doing? These people give us a free ride in the boat and you're taking the boat apart? You're destroying their property? Come on, man, what's up with that? Hitter told him, I told you. I told you you wouldn't have the patience. So Moses said, well, okay, 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 wait a minute. No, let me hang out with you. You know, Allah told him, that this is a man who's going to have more knowledge than me. Okay, I need to stick it out. Let me see what I can do here. All right, all right. Uh, you just, if I say anything else, you know, just kick us off <laughs> because, you know, I want to stick with you. So they go on a little bit further. They're walking along. And a, there's a boy, you know, maybe teenager, something like that. And Hitter goes over to this boy and he kills him. Ah! He killed him. Oh, my God. No. Understand, in the Quran, I'm, I'm going to make sure for somebody that's not Muslim, you don't know this. In the Quran, it says in here, if anybody kills an innocent person, it's as though they killed all of humanity. You got that? Okay, so, now, but it's in the same book here telling us that here's Khidr who just killed somebody. And it's also said that he's got this knowledge. So what's up with that? And obviously, Moses, like you or I, would say, Oh my God, you just killed this boy. What did he do? Come on, man, what's up with that? I'm giving you Texas translations, by the way. <laughs> but So that you can get the concept of what's happening. So Moses is questioning Kidder. Kidder said, I told you you wouldn't be able to stick with it, okay? So now you're not going to find out anything more. Just go on. No, 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 Moses said, hold on, hold on, we'll, we'll be quiet, we'll, we'll go with you. In fact, let us go with you, and if we even say one thing again, just kick us out, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll be away from you. All right. So they go along, they go along, they come to a place, a village, so on, and they're hungry, they need something to eat, so they're like, okay, what do you guys got? The people, they're very rude, very stingy. 
called in Arabic Bakhil. So stingy. Wouldn't give him the time of day, much less even give him something to eat. Now in this case, Khidr goes over to a wall, an old wall that had fallen over, and he started repairing the wall, rebuilding this beautiful wall, putting it all back up. And Moses is looking at him like, uh, excuse me, you could have charged money, you know. Somebody could have gave us money for putting this wall back up. And, you know, <laughs> you're doing it for free. And these people are scumbags. They won't even feed us. So what's that? Kidder told him, I told you, you would not be able to stay with me, to have the patience to know, to understand this higher knowledge. Because, by the way, this is not the knowledge of a human being. This is knowledge of God who's coming to him to show this example to us about this so-called rational thinking. What happened next is an amazing thing, is to find out what is the meaning behind. What is the meaning behind these stories that we just heard? How could it be that Allah is sending Moses off with somebody, telling him, this person has got so much knowledge, you go with this person, you're going to see this real knowledge, way above normal human knowledge. You're going to see something in action. But then the first thing a guy does is get in a boat and tear the boat apart. The boat's going to sink. What's that? And then kill somebody? Oh, my God. And then to a place where the people are bad to you, you go and build a wall for them for nothing. Now, what in the world is this all about? I'm sure you'd like to know. I'm sure we'd all like to know. So stay right there. Don't leave. Because we're going to be right back and explain that and I'll show you why this is one of the beauties of Islam. Be right back with more beauties of Islam. Islam is keeping up the pace. Islam is for every race. <laughs> back you're back and we're here with more of beauties of Islam I know when I left you off a few minutes ago you were thinking mm, what's the answer to that I want to know it is an interesting concept in fact there have been a lot of books written on this subject for the explanation of the Quran on the topic of Khidr wa Musa and this Khidr and Moses the one we know from the Old Testament, same Moses. And Allah is showing Moses, and by way of giving him the example, it shows us too. He's showing us what is real knowledge and what is the value of knowledge and how it goes way beyond anything that we can comprehend. Allah says about knowledge in the Quran, يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَاللَّا يُهِتُنَّ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ إِلْمِهِ إِلَّا بِمِشَّا That Allah has full knowledge of everything. He knows everything of the universe, what's above and below and all around you. All knowledge is within His grasp. He is all knowledge. And you don't have any knowledge except the knowledge He gives you. So, for the smartest day of your life, for the wisest person of your generation, for all the Einsteins of the world, together will not make a drop in the ocean compared to the knowledge of Allah. And this is the point. It's not just about knowledge in the sense of information. 
It's not just about knowledge in the sense of being able to solve a riddle or a puzzle or answer a quiz. But it's the kind of knowledge that produces something in Arabic called hikmah, the real wisdom. And this is one of the beauties of Islam. And I really wanted to emphasize it in this program. And I wanted to use that example. Now, right about now you're saying, is this guy ever going to tell us? Are we ever going to find out what is the solution to that? Yes. <clears throat> yes, inshallah, God willing. The first part of the story, we heard that Musa, Moses, was with Khidr. And Khidr rejected him. And he said, no, please let me go with you. He said, you won't be patient, though. He said, yes, I will, I will. And as they got into a boat, they got free passage somewhere. Khidr took a wrench or a crowbar and started prying apart the little boat that they were in. And it, maybe it's going to sink now. And so Moses criticized him. And he said, see, I told you you wouldn't be patient, so take off. He said, no, 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 I'll be patient. Let, let us go with you. The next thing had happened, they're walking along, and there's a young boy there, a young man. And this Khidr goes to him and killed him. Now again, Moses criticized him because as we know in Islam, you cannot even kill one innocent soul. In fact, Muslims are forbidden even to kill innocent animals unless there's a purpose, such as meat and so on. So how much so that a man could walk up and kill an innocent boy? What is that? And again, Moses criticized him. And again, he said, well, then get away from me. I told you you wouldn't be patient. You're not going to learn. Moses told him, okay, okay, I will. I'll be patient. And then they went on and they came to a village. And in the village, the people wouldn't even give them a glass of water. <laughs> wouldn't give them anything to eat, give them nothing. So all of a sudden now here, Khidr is going to put up a, a wall, a, a big wall, a repair a wall. And he was being criticized now by Moses, saying to him, but well, you could have charged these people and we could have got some food. How come you're doing this for free? He said, this is the place of you and I parting company. You're going to go your way, I'm going to go my way. But I will tell you the meaning behind what you saw. He said, in the first case of the boat, those people that owned that boat, they were very good people. Allah loves them. And so here's what Allah did. He made it so that Khidr would open the boat up a little bit. So it starts to sink. They go to port and they take their boat out of commission. Why? Because there was an evil ruler at that time, and you know what he's going to do? He's going to take all of the ships, all of the boats, away from all of the poor people. And they have no way to go fishing, because it was a fishing boat. And how can they make any livelihood now? But these people could, because at the time it happened, their boat was out of commission. So by repairing their boat, they go back out. Now they're better to, off than anybody else, because they're the only one who got a boat that works. Good to go, you'd be like, hey, oh, hey, wow, look at that wisdom. But you wouldn't know that kind of wisdom unless you're Almighty God. All right, now the next one. What about the boy? Killing a boy, that doesn't work. Hold on a second. We found out from the Quran that Allah already knew how evil the boy was. It, by the way, he's not a little boy. He was a, a young man. And Allah knew that this young man was going to lead his parents into disbelief. He was going to do some so much evil so that Allah wanted him stopped. And Allah stopped him by using Khidr to do that. Because Khidr had this knowledge. He'd given it to him. Then, the next one about building the wall. In this case, Allah knew those people were very evil. No doubt about that. They were selfish, stingy, greedy. They loved money. So much so... <laughs> And this is the part that, that I really got a, a charge out of. The wall actually was being built up over treasures that were underneath it. So these people won't find those treasures. But the people who buried it were believers and they died. And so what happens now is when they get older, they'll find the treasure that was left there by their parents. So it means Allah gave them their legacy by way of Kidder's actions. Of course, none of this means that you have the right to break the laws or do anything wrong like this, saying you have bigger knowledge. It was to give the example that you don't know why things happen, 
But Allah makes them happen for reasons much bigger than you and I will ever understand. There's so much more I want to tell you about this subject. So what I'm going to do is invite you to our website. Come over there and be with us on the website. It's called beautiesofislam.com. Till next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Islam is peace. Islam is peace.